uh, let's uh, welcome back to another tutorial uh, today we will be learning on about how to create uh, springs using equations okay in creo uh, let's start the tutorial what we have to do is i have already created a part file okay so if you want to create a uh, spring use spring part using equations using datum first we have to go here okay then we have to go to curve and then we have to go to curve equations then we have to write equation over here okay but before that we have to use tools and relations not relations parameters and we have to add few of the important informations that come in uh, springs the one that's important is height what is the spring height at i g t height okay then comes number of turns t u r n s turns then spring radius r a r r a d d radius and then comes wire dia which you can simply say it as a dia okay so let me stay start this as 30 turns as 10 radius as i'll keep it as 10 this as uh, 3 okay I have it now. now now with this information what we will do we will directly go to part file we'll go to model datum curves equations and here when we come here we have to decide whether we want to create the equation in cartesian mode or in cylindrical mode a cylindrical equation or cartesian equation what i am going to use is i'm going to use cartesian equation okay so click here uh, stuff pops up then click on this and say copy this one okay what you see very important thing is we want in this equation we want the spring to be extruded with z direct on x and x and z plane with y direction as our extruded sur surface okay so with this let's check it and relation succeeds okay then let us then click ok then go here click on cartesian this and then click here okay so here it is guys as i said now we have an equation oh sorry we have a curve for the spring okay which is controlled not only by relation but also by parameters now what i'll do is i'll just go and change i go to parameters and change the radius to or oh, turns number of turns is fine <coughs> and make it as it's not radius it should be dia okay it is not radius it's dia so we'll make it as five so then say okay now regenerate now we have another equation here okay so this is not it we have to complete it spring into a complete part model okay so what we are going to do now is we are going to create a sketch before that we'll create point here and here okay these two points are very important for us then go here pick this surface immediately go and click here pick this reference create a line of say 2 m 2 mm okay that's enough then draw a temporary line like this <coughs> draw a circle okay then cut this cut this cut this cut this okay we have the ends one end is ready <coughs> sorry go here again pick this again 2 mm okay remove this remove this 
remove this run coin remove this delete this okay so now you can see let's hide all the stuff our spring uh, spring sketch is ready guys but this is not enough for us to create a model okay so what we will do is we will start with some new stuff very new which most of the people might have not known this is how I model the uh, spring I pick this okay I'll go here and then I'll pick the curve pick this one and then with this I say 10 okay I will create a curve with this later then similarly I will do it for this okay curve I'll go here and say 10 that's it okay. now what I need to do is if I cannot create a spring end directly over here I need a radius so for that I have to create another point for that I need to click on this okay then reference real other end say this is right and click one more and say this as three right click one more say this as four right perfect so we have now this do the same to the other end also <coughs> sorry scoff okay click here click on two Oh, sorry ratio should be ratio then click here you have two this one we will delete we don't need this okay then we'll go here and click another one make this as three then we'll go here and click here another one and we'll make this as four okay so real quick so we are done with this now what we will do is <coughs> we'll create a curve <coughs> go to curve and points pick this pick this pick this pick this pick this go like this and go on creating a curve okay this curve is done it's not done yet so go here edit definition go to points and pick the point where we want radius click here say 1 and then we can click the radius as 2 ok so it's done we have to do the same thing here also curve points pick this pick here 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 all right done then again go here say edit definition go to placement pick the point where we want radius make it straight make it as two now this much is done okay now we want we don't want this extra part so click on this say trim go here and click here you are done the other side is required so done so that curve is gone then click here to say trim click on this point and it's done okay now comes the next part the most important part what is that sweep okay so we pick this okay and now we decide the wire size <coughs> it's 
actually it should start from here Let's see what's the problem <coughs> yeah it is starting from there click here starts then you give this as as of now you must make, make it as 3 no just make it as 2 complete the sketch okay so you have one portion of the spring okay it's done now go to parameters <coughs> tools parameters and check the value it's a dia now go to tools relations and say dia is equal to section done 25 okay so now you regenerate now let's check whether it works now you go and change it no, it's actually the reverse okay 25 is equal to dia d25 is equal to dia okay now we'll go to parameters and then we'll change the value to one one Let's see if it works yes it works so go to parameters say it as two again keep it regenerate now change this to this shading now here comes the most important point guys here i cannot use sweep command okay i don't know why it doesn't work i'll go to blend okay what i'll do is i'll pick this curve okay i'll pick this curve and then i'll sketch the first section okay which is nothing but this i'll just pick this curve okay so it is two okay now let's click here okay then next insert and then sketch okay so here also it will be two only one minute it will be two so our spring is done the other end will do the same thing swift blend we we'll pick here go to references then we'll say click sketch done go here pick this curve use a circle i want to use whatever trajectory uh, whatever profile is available here okay i don't want to use any other profile here i have to create a profile because it's not available i have to add it practic practically speaking i have to add it into relations because later on it might change you can do that guys so it is two right so there it is spring is ready okay hide all this stuff now you can see the spring we'll add a few champers it will be point into point two okay it will be here now now what we will do is we'll check whether it is parametric param it is controlled using parameters okay tools parameters now here the length is 30 mm we'll make this length now as 40 and see if it works say ok regenerate perfect it's done ok now then we'll go to tools set it at 30 regenerate I just want to check whether the model fails somewhere then I'll go to parameters and I'll change the number of turns to uh, 
uh, how many let's make it as five okay let's see if it works yeah guys so that's it this is the quick way of doing a uh, spring in Creo using equations curve driven by equation okay so if you like this quick tutorial please leave a comment okay and uh, that's it thank you very much thanks guys